base salt that has the right stuff in it, but since the books I'm looking at have been written literally right up to here, there is fresh tar paper, fresh asphalt, entire, you see that, entire brand new stack stuff all the way down. I feel like they just redid that whole section of road. But now pulling off to where you can see some of the actual basalt, you can start to see the voids and stuff where the geodes would be. And it's the right material. And I can see it going on up the hill and stuff, so. I think that all this here is probably what happened to a lot of that as the road got modernized. I don't think this came very far at all. I think it's from nearby and there's a lot of it. So I'm not gonna pillar pi I'm not gonna pillage the uh, the local road fill or anything, but I thought I'd see what was in it. We got a heck of a view off the edge here. And I need to take a break because I've been watching my rear view mirror, watching the road cuts, um, all that for a ways and that can get kind of stressful. If you're being safe while you're doing all this, you got to pull over all the time. And I'm rechecking my notes. And... Okay. Back up as we head south to get back to California at the end of all this. At the end of all this, where is the end of all this? We don't know. All I ask is that it keeps going for as long as it can, right? That's all any of us can ask. And here by the poison oak, we have stumbled onto it. There is the calcetony or, okay, battery died right then. This is like the calcetony that we find all the time, but I'm so excited because it's in its host rock still. So there's the conglomerate bubbled out of the volcano host rock, and then in that, water has flown through during the ages, filled in the cracks, and grown these calcetiny chunks. Look at that. And uh, they will have water lines in some of them, growth lines, because that's how they, they grow, is they fill in the cracks and crevices. And, um, and so they have layers to them. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. Look at that. Those are all agate chunks. You see, here's a closer up view of it. You can see the lines and stuff in there. Yay! Okay, we're gonna go get the truck, pull it to a closer pullout, and, uh, and then we'll pick through this because this is what we came for. And there's no tiny geodes here, too, supposedly. So we'll keep our eyes out. These are less impressive than the river washed ones than we get, but only because they have their natural rind to them. And I am stoked about that. There's whole boulders here, and we know the material it's in again. So never again in our lives will we be stumped by this site. See, crevice agate, that's another term for these. So it's quartz all together, a microcrystalline quartz in the calcetiny family, and because it's got growth lines that you can detect, it's going to be an agate. Yeah, seam agate, crevice agate, um, if these washed into little round things, um, and then were left after oceans went down laying out in the middle of deserts, we would just call them calcetiny nodules at that point. There's so much.
we're gonna fill a little bucket with agates right here right now okay let me go get my stuff and we'll be back on specimens happy times look at it all through here boom 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 And that waterways and rivers and streams and bulldozers and work crews do the carving through the rock and then come see what there is to see. Best part about this spot is I get to park right here and work here at the edge of the boulder push. There's agates right there. I'm just using my favorite little mini chisel. If you can get one of these and carry it with you in your backpack, it doesn't weigh much or anything that's the equivalent of that. Even a screwdriver, don't carry it how you're gonna get hurt. But slip it in your backpack, something non-cumbersome, and then even when you don't have all your stuff, which I do, I have rock picks and everything, it's soft rock, so we'll use this, it'll be fine, but you'll have your little pick at least, you know? Um, it's okay to go minimal, I also have big old gads here in case I needed them, and full-size hammers, and, and everything else, we're going to bring the pan down to set stuff in, and been a successful trip. Be sure to ring that subscribe button. There's the bell button icon next to the subscribe button um, so that you will be alerted when I put out new videos so you don't miss any of them because I have been running all over this end of the planet trying to find you guys some really cool things to think about. I'd love to be able to share it with you. So, hope you stick around for the quest. Wow, coming back down here, I can actually see that it's been eroding out. And there's little pieces all through this. See a nice little specimen. It's got the little cavity filled in. There's the back side of one that hasn't quite eroded out and it's a little piece of rock so every time that I get one of those I go ahead and hang on to it as a specimen because then you can show other people it's in this type of rock. We might not even need the hammer. Let's do some prying. The less hammering the better in this heat I imagine. Oh. Okay. You see that? Total agate, total blue in there with some ghosting. Oh yeah. I was actually going for this one. Oh, see I just broke that by hammering. I think we're going to take the big rocks apart and just try and hopefully free up the little rocks by doing that piece out of it. That is another. As I do that, there's this big layers dropping out. Not big, I suppose, but agony goodness. Chipsons and such. Cool. So yeah. We have to do some eyeballing too, for sure. <sighs> like that. That's a big old chunk of pure blue. The water lines around the edge. Nice.
And yeah, it's uh, it's getting hot and I'm getting a little spacey. But we have lots of work to do. Probably. Yeah, look at these layers running through here. And all the ones that have been broken moose already. This is the I'm working on right now. You can see. Kind of bust up all the soft rock around it and not get it soft rock. It's not necessarily soft rock. That means this mountainside is full and that there's huge veins of it. And then sometimes it just pops right out. Some water lines and that that make it from the calcitony. Oh yeah, that's got fine lines in there. We'll just have to slice these on the saw across those faces so I can show you better. But we are getting some, some good material. That's awesome. It's got a nice blue to it, a blue yellow. Okay. And there's still more of that vein going on too. Look at that piece. Ugh. Back into some crazy looking. Who even knows? The back of the deposit, but there's the rest of that whole windowed piece with all of its water lines and stuff. That's another big old slab. We got that that whole thing out of there. I'm really. Oh, there's the rest of that. Okay, I gotta get out of the sun a little bit. I don't have a whole lot more energy away to pound away in this direct sun, but I don't think anybody's surface picked this at all, because lying all over the slope here. So, I am just gonna pick around for a little bit. Nuggets. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's all waterline and crystals. That's awesome. When we get down to cooler elevations and find some riverside. Oh, those are all. Oh wow. Yeah, we don't need to trip, we just need to, to paw through. Don't want to dig out any roadsides. Even if they're a long ways away from the road, we just want to, we just want to paw through. You can just make out there, it's like gray with white lines around the edge. It'll be beautiful though. We'll do that to a lot of these. We'll slice open their front windows and, and they'll be just fine. Looking at all these dirty rocks because some of them aren't dirty rocks.
These are little green rocks. Killer. We're saving that. I think that came up from deep. Deep, deep. And I'm leaving this down here. It's inside of the parking lot. They look down the hill and they walk down and look at the stacked rocks. There's the clue. And look around here. And then once you found it here, go look around other places like that. Hey, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button below. It helps the quest for details grow. I appreciate the support. And if you double click the bell icon next to it, you'll get a notification each time we put out a new video.